Before we talk about how kidney stones are formed, first, take a moment to get oriented to the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Now, let's enlarge a kidney to get a closer view. Here's a cut section of the kidney. Urine flows from the outer cortex to the inner medulla. The renal pelvis is the funnel through which urine exits the kidney and enters the ureter. As urine passes through the kidneys, it can become very concentrated. When the urine becomes too concentrated, calcium, uric acid salts, and other chemicals dissolved in the urine can crystallize, forming a kidney stone or renal calculus. Usually, the calculus is the size of a small pebble, but ureters are very sensitive to being stretched, and when stones form and distend it, the stretching can be very painful. Often, people may not know they have kidney stones until they feel the painful symptoms resulting from a stone being stuck anywhere along the urinary tract. Fortunately, small stones typically pass out of the kidneys and through the ureters on their own without causing any problems. However, stones can become more problematic when they block the flow of urine, as seen in the example here. Doctors call this one a staghorn kidney stone, and it is obstructing the entire kidney. Fortunately, these stones are the exception rather than the rule.